I've tack welded these four little tabs on to keep my perfectly cut patch from falling through. Now I've tacked the patch all the way around. I'm gonna get rid of my little positioning tabs. Just pry them up and break them off. On 80. Okay. I don't actually want to weld at 100 amps, but I'm doing it just to show that even though the amperage is too high, I can still weld this 16 gauge sheet metal with it. Proper. These Thank excellent you, gloves provided by Yes Welder will keep me from burning my dirty sausages. I'd like to wear my leather apron and sleeves but it's 100 degrees again today. Come over here and show the big gap. Now get it away from there a little bit. The crookedness of this cut makes absolutely no difference. I will weld the, the fissure up and everything will be just fine. It'll be a, a crooked bead and it'll grind down just the same as a straight one. Now, I'm not feeling the 100 amp. It's burning in there, but it's leaving too tall a bead, and I don't want a tall bead. The 80 amps was perfectly fine for 16 gauge sheet metal, and it will leave a very flat bead that is super easy to grind. When I was first tacking the plate into place, I had left the welder on 135 amps from my welding my door bender tool. And I was wondering why it was so hot. And then it occurred to me, but I could have welded the whole thing at 135 amps if I was forced to. But it's always best to find the, the perfect sweet spot. You would think that it would get too hot to fall through, but that's not the case. It's like, it's welding it, but it's leaving a, a tall bead like a MIG welder. And you know, I don't like those tall beads. I absolutely hate grinding. And grinding is expensive. It costs you a lot of money and, and grinding discs and, and roll lock discs and all that. It's definitely best to do Billy's favorite Get a flat weld. Now I'm tired of playing with this 100 amp. So I've turned it back down to 80. And we'll get down to some serious business now. Because of the general shape of this patch that I cut out. And I cut it this way on purpose. I don't have to have any concern with warpage. I'm just going to take off and start welding. I had one clown say that this wasn't stitching. He says, stitching is a timed weld. Uh, I don't even remember what he said, but you look at what I'm doing. It's absolutely stitching, and I'm not running a constant bead. I'm getting fusion, stopping, getting fusion, stopping, moving to the next point, moving to the next point, next point, and on and on I go. I don't have to slow down to cool it or any of that because I'm not worried in the slightest about warpage because it's not going to warp and we'll see that here in the end but uh, this is the way I would like to weld all sheet metal but when you get into the uh, thinner gauges you absolutely have to stop and let it cool off or else you're going to have a big oil can warpage and, and just a big old mess but in this case I don't have to slow down I can just keep welding and keep welding and keep welding and that's what I'm going to do until this patch is completely welded solid. You can see how flat the weld is. Okay. It ain't the prettiest thing in the world but it's plenty good enough and like I say easy to grind and there she is. So please touch my like thingy and subscribe damn it!